Hello, and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Mega Man X, where you will bear witness to the assassination of the final Maverick Guardian of Sigma's Fortress. My name is Veer Animus, and today we're going to be taking on Sting Chameleon in his little forest base. But before we get into these assassination games, there is still the matter of two more upgrades that we haven't collected yet. And the first one is hidden above the entryway to the cavern, and is guarded by this guy. I don't know what he is, I don't know uh, what his name is, I've never known his purpose, um, I've never really done any research on him except that he's annoying and I don't like fighting him and it's a pain because he has so much health, this battle will take forever. And because those claws guard the lower two thirds of his body, his only vulnerable spot is his head and because his head is higher than Mega Man, um, or X rather, you have to jump to hit him, and it just gets really annoying. You have to be really careful, you have to you know, be patient and time your shots correctly. And patience is, is a virtue, but it is not something that I have in great abundance, especially when it comes to action games like this. When you do start to get the upper hand, you will start to see the smoke come out of his head or his face, and it will start to get faster as he gets closer and closer to death. You might think that this would be a good idea to, or a good time to whip out the Storm Tornado, as everyone likes to try, but it will not avail you here. It actually doesn't really hit him very well, because of the, uh, most of his body is, is unhittable, so the Storm Tornado kind of misses the mark in terms of effectiveness. And I'm not really sure that the, the Fire Wave does any better, but I've never really tried it um, in recent memory. When you do finally kill this guy, the last of the four upgrade capsules will magically appear out of the ground, and uh, it is the body armor, of course. Dr. Light doesn't have very much to say about it, but what he does say is very interesting. If you remember to the beginning of the game, in the intro where it showed Mega Man X's specs, it says that his armor is capable of reducing damage by, I think, 93%. Dr. Light said that this upgrade uh, increases his defenses by another 50%, which essentially means that X is invincible. So when you finish getting the upgrade and making X look really cool, uh, jump all the way down into this water, which is only there if you beat Launch Octopus, so you have to beat Launch Octopus in order to get that last heart tank. And when you do, you will have uh, 32 bars of life in total. As I discussed in the Storm Eagle video, which was I think episode 3, you now have, with the help of full sub-tanks and careful, moderate use of them, you now have a total of 144 bars of life to play with. Couple this with the fact that now Mega Man or X takes half of his original damage, and X is, is a god among these, amongst these things. He can't be touched except for uh, the last boss, Sigma can still wreck your day if you're not careful. So just be careful. You've, you've got it made now. X is as powerful as he's going to be. Almost. And we'll learn more about that later. But for now, we are approaching Sting Chameleon. And he is kind of, well, he's widely regarded as the hardest uh, Maverick. Uh, the, you know, the original eight Mavericks, he's kind of regarded as the hardest. Um, I kind of give that vote to Launch Octopus. But, in terms of avoiding all kinds of damage, I think this guy probably takes the cake. His, uh, his signature attack is the Chameleon Sting, which is really easy to avoid. It's just that, uh, that those three green spikes, and, or rays of light, very easy to avoid. The difficult thing to avoid is his tongue whip, and when he does whip you, it's kind of quick, and if he's in the middle of the level, he can kind of reach all the way across to the other wall, so it's kind of hard to avoid sometimes, but you get used to it, you get used to his patterns. His uh, other attack is when he kind of hangs from something above the ceiling. He'll swing back and forth and cause all these uh, spikes to drop down and rain on your head. These don't, aren't that damaging, but they are hard to avoid, so... You just want to kind of dash left and right like I do and, and hope for the best, unless you know of a better way. His warping in and out of uh, invisibility kind of gets annoying, but eventually he'll go down, and if you need any further help, feel free to use his weakness, which is the boomerang cut. 
No, unfortunately, it doesn't cut off his tail like I kind of hoped it did. Um, you know, Launch Octopus loses his tentacles, and uh, Flame Mammoth loses his trunk, but nope, doesn't cut off his tail. It does put him into an infinite attack loop, which makes him extremely easily ex exploitable, kind of like uh, using the shotgun ice on Spark Mandrel. But I digress. When you do finally kill this guy, you will get his weapon, the Sting Chameleon's... Uh, what is this? The uh, Chameleon Sting. I'm sorry, I got it backwards. It's not a very impressive weapon until you charge it up, and it makes you invincible, which a lot of people use to get through uh, certain parts of Sigma's Fortress which is actually where we're going to be heading very soon now. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. It'll be really special. And thanks for watching.